Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I don't know. It runs pretty regularly. I cannot miss this job interview. But I've got to take the bus out of Arcadia Bay to Newport just to find work. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware Ugh, makes me feel 13 again. Good lord. Talk about apocalyptic. Coming up at noon, KBay 7 News will explore the mystery of yesterday's unusual snowfall on a warm and sunny late afternoon that confused and delighted Arcadia Bay residents. We'll be talking with Portland meteorologists in the area and look at some of your fun video reactions to the odd snow flurry. Who knows? Maybe Mother Nature was pranking us all. So stay tuned to KBay 7 News for the real story. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over and out. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. No, I've been here many times. It's like a fourth home. I wish I could make the two whales my first home. Joyce making rocket coffee or juicy burgers any time. Mm. <laughs> you look about Chloe's age. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room. That's not good. Anyway, hmm, that bacon sure smells good. Is she a friend of yours? Not really. That's good. She's not a bad person. She's had hard times, but there's no excuse for burning things. I know her dad died. My dad died when I was 13. I never burned garbage cans or tagged signs. Joyce is a great mother. Chloe just isn't paying attention. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, 
is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. This guy has serious corners. Why does that so not sound fun? I might make Chloe check this out with me. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. I would buy a shirt, but they're so damn tourist. That graffiti has been here forever. Now oh, that brings back memories. Chloe and I loved the parade. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. There she is, a lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be, promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe, 
I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? Chloe doesn't have to tell me anything. I just know how David is at Blackwell. You know what happened. David slapped Chloe. He fucked up. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. That's no excuse to hit a girl. He's an adult. I don't like it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess... I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. One bacon omelet for the young lady, Stat. Bacon at 12 o'clock, I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. No beer? <laughs> it looks like you had plenty. Stick with bacon. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. What kind of dive The is lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. 